Well, hi, I'm Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified and QI Macros. I don't know about you, but I think every teenage boy has a vision of the perfect car for them to ride around in. And back when I was a kid, you know, there were Corvettes and Camaros and Dodge Chargers and everything else, but I really liked the Jaguar XKE. And so once I graduated from college and got out on my own, I bought myself a 1968 XKE Roadster ragtop, right? Because <laughs> that was the car I always wanted. <clears throat> but the funny thing about that thing was, you know, it was more complicated. It had dual, I mean, three dual carb, uh, three carburetors on the thing, but you had to tune them all. I can't even say the words right, right? It's been a while, right? So you had three carburetors and you had to tune them so it would all run consistently. And you did have to do this fairly frequently. Um, <clears throat> but the funny thing about it was, you know, it's not a good car, uh, even though it was made in England, it's not that good a car in rain or snow. And so I ended up buying a 68 Volkswagen Bug, which is what I drove around most of the time, especially when I had to buy parts <laughs> for the Jaguar. And I ended up, you know, driving the Volkswagen most of the time and the Jaguar every so often. Special occasions when it was nice and dry out, it wasn't going to rain or anything like that. Now, also, I want to tell you that my, our daughter bought a pair of designer shoes and I bet they cost a thousand dollars. And they're enshrined in a special place in her, uh, you know, wardrobe. And just, and I looked at him and I said, wow, those, those look pretty fancy. I said, where do you wear those to? She says, well, I, I don't wear them very much because they hurt my feet. Normally I just wear, you know, flats or something else. I don't wear my designer thousand dollar shoes very often because they hurt my feet. Now, what does this have to do with Lean and Six Sigma and, and SPC? Well, Here's the thing, where I sit with QI Macros, I talk to a lot of people, and I've talked to a lot of people who bought very expensive SPC software. Very expensive. And they bought lots of them. And then they discovered that their people weren't using them. One guy bought 150 copies for his uh, manufacturing plant, and nobody was using it. Well, ouch. And I recently talked to a very prestigious uh, training organization, and they'd been training people with a very expensive software package as well. And guess what? They found that when people went back to their jobs, guess what? They weren't using that very expensive software. It's not that, you know, it, whatever. You know, I mean, my Jaguar costs probably five, six times what my Volkswagen costs, right? And wow, it looked cool, but I didn't drive it very much. You know, those shoes look really cool, but my daughter doesn't wear them very much. And I think if you have software that's too hard on your head, right? It takes, you have to learn too many things, do too many things, you know, press too many buttons, set up too many <laughs> things, you know, all these options that you can choose. Guess what? People don't use it. So I want you to realize that it doesn't matter how much you pay for your software. It doesn't matter if you buy QI macros or somebody else, we're all going to calculate the formulas the same way, right? Our graphs may look a little different, but um, <clears throat> they're all going to give you the same answer. But you can pay a lot more for that answer, but it might be hard in your head to use it. So it doesn't matter how much you pay for your software if no one uses it. Same is true of QI macros. If you buy it and nobody uses it, you still have a problem. But I have found that it's so much easier for people to use QI macros that they're non, they just don't get threatened. Even black belts tell me, you know, I use QI macros all the time. I don't pull out my very expensive software unless I absolutely positively have to for some really bizarre, you know, calculation. Uh, but that doesn't happen very much because most problems aren't, don't have those kinds of problems. So, you know, that's my improvement insight for this week. Stop spending too much money on software no one uses. 
You know, QI macros will serve just about everybody's needs. And, you know, let's create a hassle-free America. And the only way to do that is if people use the software and the tools of quality. People aren't using the tools of quality. Why? Because it's too hard, right? But with QI macros, I believe it's super simple. So, you know, let's go out and improve something this week.